Hello lovelies, welcome to today's video. Today I am making my next personal journal for myself using only some of the wonderful goodies that my lovely friend Tanya from Tanya Lee Design sent me in some Happy Mail. She sent me this amazing, huge box of Happy Mail. It was actually two like big boxes taped together because not enough stuff could fit in the one. So it was just insane how much stuff she sent me. Um, and so I decided to challenge myself to make myself a whole journal out of just the things that she sent me. And I loved this challenge. I loved it so much. Um, so as you can see, I used a manila kind of folder thing as the base of the cover because it had a nice thickness to it. Um, and then I'm just adding this scrapbook paper that was like just sort of a cut down piece that she sent me as just some decoration for the cover, just like a background. I really loved it. She also sent me these really cute little like coin envelopes. I don't know exactly what they are, but I decided to make it into a pocket in the front of my journal. I always like having a pocket at the front. I like to keep track of um, what day I started the journal, what day I finished the journal. And I also quite like, um, recording subscriber followers like how many people are following me i don't care about numbers it really doesn't bother me i just find it quite interesting to look back and see um like how much growth there's been this month like it's it's really it's really inspiring for me when i see that people are following me that obviously people are enjoying what i'm putting out and it, it just really motivates me and inspires me to see that growth so i like to just sort of keep a track of that in my journal too um so i have now made the cover well the base of the cover and now i decided i needed some um like focal images to kind of bring some interest to it so i found this magazine that she had sent it was about like basket work cane using cane to make baskets and stuff um which was really really cute and so i went through i love the text the font in it so beautiful um and so i just went through and cut out some images that really spoke to me to add to the journal this journal has such a cute like retro kind of vibe to it i really like it and it's perfect i think the colors are perfect for the fact that we're just going into autumn here now um like it's just it's it's late summer going into autumn and so i think that the colors kind of looked really good for that there's those leaves there's the flowers there's just those kind of autumny colors really perfect but they're still really like warm colors you know like so for summer just thought it worked really really well for this time of year so i added that little piece that said contents because i just loved the font that font is incredible so i added that in i added this little cat on the back with the stool sitting on a stool and this cute lady with her basket for the front cover image so I am now just going through some fabric washi that Tanya sent me. She's, she makes beautiful washi that has a really good stick. Um, so I decided to add just a few bits of that as well, that green leaf one there, just to add some more interest, some more layering. I liked the fabric texture of it, like that, that texture just really added something to the journal cover for me. And I loved that it was already sticky. It was so easy to use. So if you're looking for some, I really recommend chatting to Tanya I will of course leave her links um, down below because she just makes some cool stuff really cool stuff um, so definitely go ahead and check her out these are some things that she makes so you can see there her packaging design is so cute she makes these really cool clocks and there's also these circles cut out of like coloring book pages and music paper and book pages and things like that and they're so cute i really particularly loved the one that said butterflies and blossoms there with that butterfly i end up using that um half on the page and then i just trim the edge off uh, i really liked that kind of overlapped look i wanted to use one of those um like see-through clocks but they, it just didn't work with the paper. It was The paper background was too busy, and so you couldn't actually see the clock. But I used one of the um, like creamy colored clocks um, in the background there and on the back of the cover, and that looked so good. I was looking for some text, and I found this word create in that magazine again, and 
that just that word really speaks to me I really resonate with that word it, I am a creative person I love making things creating things so I decided to cut that out and add that to the cover of my book just because I want that word inspiring me all month long so that was really perfect now I'm deciding to go through the papers that she sent to create some pages for this journal like I said almost everything is from Tanya the only there was only two things not from Tanya in this journal and I don't really think they count even because it was the double-sided tape which I just used my own adhesive which was that and the glue sorry glue and double-sided tape so adhesives were mine and the string that I used to bind the journal was already mine because she didn't send me any string. So I pretty much don't count those things. So nothing was just mine originally. All of the things really were from Tanya. So thank you so much, Tanya, because I just had the best time playing with the things you sent me. Um, you were so incredibly generous. I just really enjoyed the whole process of it. So as you can see here, I'm just measuring out some pages here, um, just roughly guiding myself to see where um, each page will fit in the journal and folding them in half to make the pages. As you can see I've grabbed a couple of envelopes to add as pages in this journal. I'm particularly excited about this um, page here with the window. I really I made a journal once that was all window envelopes and it was a little overwhelming honestly but I am and I haven't done it since then but I am really excited to try out just having the one window envelope in my journal and I've also got a, you might have seen one of the um, like airmail ones that fold right out. I've got one of those in here too. You can see it just peeking out over there on the right hand side um, with the blue and red sort of stripey part on it. Really excited about that page as well. So I am just sort of putting the pages in here just in an order that I feel feel like works well that means that not all the pages that are colored or patterned go together I like to space them out with some white pages I also like kind of trying to make sure that the colors sort of go together this whole page I, I mean journal sorry had quite a cool retro -y vibe to it I thought um, I really loved all the colors that were in it and I did really enjoy sort of trying to work it so that the colors were spaced out really nicely and they flowed really well together and I'm actually really really excited and happy about how this journal turned out I am super enjoying working in it I'm up to I'm, I'm in it for a few days now really really enjoying how it's going really enjoying it so here I as you can see I just trimmed down that part because I didn't want it to get caught and bound in I wanted it to flip out and so those are the pages ready to go now it is I'm just sort of trimming down the edges here. I normally wouldn't use scissors if I was making this for anybody else, but because it's for myself, I don't really care if it's a bit rough. Um, I am naturally a very rough person. I like the imperfections. I like them looking a bit wonky and things. And now it is time to bind this journal. So I'm just doing the standard three hole pamphlet stitch. I do this on every journal I make. I honestly don't know how to make any other sort of do any other sort of binding this is my binding method of choice and I actually think it works super well and I'm really happy with it um so I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything by not using other binding methods I will probably try them out eventually but I'm happy with this method for now so I'm just getting this book bound together and then I will do a little flip through um of all the pages all put together and all finished so I'm nearly nearly done here with the binding and you will see me flip through in just a moment.
thanks so much for watching, guys. Please go and check out Tanya. She's amazing. She makes beautiful things. Totally recommend checking out the things that she's up to. I will leave her links below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would um, subscribe and come back for more videos. I will be working in this journal more, so you will get to see bits and pieces of that if you stick around. I will see you guys later. Bye!